Hello everybody, welcome back to the Tech Super channel. Today, in this video, I'm going to help you to understand what is subnet and how to create them in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So guys, before we start, I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and click on a bell icon to get regular updates to get such an amazing video directly in your inbox and learn end to end. So let's begin and understand what subnets are and how to create them. And what is the objective of this video? The objective of this video is to help you understand what are subnets in OCI and how do we create a public and private subnet in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So let's begin. What is subnet? Like in one of the videos that I have helped you to understand what is VCN and you can find the link of the VCN in the description. So subnet is nothing, it's like a smaller network of your bigger network. So you have a VCN created with a range of 16, but you would like to divide the complete virtual cloud network in the smaller, smaller network so that you can leverage your small networks and deploy your resources in that. So each subnet, we can create multiple subnets inside the VCN and each subnet consists of a contiguous range of IP addresses. When I say contiguous ranges, meaning if you have a range, let's say slash 24, okay, then or 10.1.0.0 slash 24, then IP will be like 10.0.0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is called contiguous range of IP addresses and does, does not overlap with other subnets. Because when you create a subnet within the VCN, those side the ranges of two different VCN, two subnets cannot be overlapped. The instances like your database instance, like your compute instance, like your API gateway instance, like your uh, any other instance, you have to choose a subnet, okay? Without subnet, you cannot create a resource, but there are few resources in OCI which are public, but most of them are VCN specific. And when you create the resources, the IPs of those resources will be drawn from the selected subnet. A subnet that you create can be a, a AD specific or it can be a regional specific, but Oracle recommend to use regional when you create subnets. So subnet contains VCN cards as well, which attaches to our instance. All right. Now, <clears throat> let's see, understand public and private subnet. So like public suggests the network, the, the subnet which have a public resources and private like only the private resources. Public subnet. So a public subnet allows the internet traffic, meaning an instance in a public subnet can access the internet. So there are various situations like your web server should be in a public in public subnet so that the traffic can come in, traffic can go out, meaning internet specific. So an instance in public subnet contains private IP and public IPs that are assigned to VNIC. So when you create any resource such as compute DB in within the public subnet, it the resource will be assigned public IP as well as the private IPs. A public subnet routes 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0. It's like a uh, any any resource like a internet resource through an internet gateway. So there's a gateway concept in OCI, which is called Internet Gateway, which allows us to connect my resources to the internet as well as to get the traffic inside the resources from internet. Instances in a public subnet requires public IP talk to internet. Now the private, like the private suggests, it's like the resources which don't need to be accessed from the public internet. But sometimes private resource needs to access uh, 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 internet. Okay, so the, those kind of resources can be created in private subnet. So a private subnet makes the instances privately and does not allow the internet access directly. But there are ways to access, there are ways to send the outbound traffic from private because private generally don't have the internet access, but there are ways to access the internet. 
an instance in a private subnet contains private IPs only that is assigned to winnings. Net gateway. Net gateway plays a very, very important role when you would like to access the internet from your private resources because private resources will generally not have the public public or let's say internet access. So you have to use our net gateway, which will allow which will allow the internet access and net gateways will be assigned a public IP generally. Let's understand our little architecture, how it works in general. Let's suppose you have OCI region. It can be a Mumbai region. It can be Hyderabad region. It, it can be a, a Ash Bund region. In, in, in couple of reasons, Oracle have a multiple data centers called availability domain, but not in every region Oracle has all these three domains. So let's consider we have an OCI reason where we have three different uh, availability domain, domain one, availability domain two, or we can say 83. So in, in this in this OCI reason, we can create a VCN with a, with a CIDR range called 10.0.0.0/16. And under that VCN, we can create a public subnet, which is like a regional specific, okay, with a, with a range 10.0.1.0/24. And then we can create a private subnet like 10.0.2.0 slash 24. And there we can associate our uh, resources in a public subnet as well as the private resources in the private subnet. So the resources which are in public in public subnet can access the public, meaning ingress and egress can be bought from public internet, but within the private, with the resources that are in private network can be in private only. Okay, so that may be a different architecture where you would like to deploy multiple virtual machines in different, different ADs. So that is all your uh, VCN or let's say subnets and let's get started and see how do we create subnet public and private subnets in OCI. All right. So here to create uh, to create a subnet, first of all, you make sure you already have a VCN available. So I have created a VCN in one of my videos. So go to the networking and go to the VCN now. When you go to the VCN here, you can see we have a VCN and we have a created a VCN uh, with this range 10.0.0.0 slash 16. Now open this VCN and there you will find a tab called subnets. So by default, when you create a VCN on your own, you will see a route table is created. You will see a security list is created by default and some DHCP options are created. But now let's go to the subnet to create a subnet. Create subnet and let's give a pub subnet, a name of the subnet, like I am creating a public subnet. You have to choose a compartment in which you would like to create this subnet. Subnet type, it is the regional or it is availability domain specific. I will go with the regional because it is the recommended one. And let's give 10.0.0 slash 1.0 slash 24. Okay, and then if you would like to associate any route table, you can do that, but it can be done later as well. And then you have to choose a subnet access. Will it be private or public? Since I'm creating a public subnet, I will choose a public subnet. And then you can associate a security list as well. One is created automatically, but you can assign that security list later as well. Create subnet. So it will provision your public subnet and all the resources created in the subnet will be assigned IPs from that side the range in a contiguous manner that we have discussed. Similarly, you can create another subnet, let's say PVT subnet, let's say regional. And this time I will give a known overlapping side the range. For example, you again give 10.0.1.0 that's 24, it will give an error like the requested CIDR is invalid because we all, because this subnet already uses that CIDR. So you cannot give the overlapping CIDR, so give this. And then again, you can choose the route table if you like. Let's get, get this private subnet, subnet access, and then simply create. So this is how you can create your subnets in OCI. So that was the main purpose of this video to show how do we create public and private subnet in OCI. I hope you find this video useful. If yes, please like, comment, 
and share and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get such an amazing content directly in your inbox you can follow me over linkedin twitter instagram facebook or pinterest thank you bye bye